We have arrived at Miles. How long did it take us to get here? <laughs> Give us all the miles, Jakes. How far have we gone today? Miles. <laughs> what are we today? Smiles. Aha, uh -huh. smiles. Put an S in front of it. Miles, we've got all these beautiful flowers amongst it. And look at this area. If we had an area like this where our shop was, it would have been amazing. Yeah. And there's Gil over in the distance taking photos. As usual. So we're here at Gill's Reserve. Decent amount of camping here. A few caravans down that way. And there's us. Now we, you are among the pines here a bit, so we didn't get a lot of uh, solar. Anyway, you can come down here, there's the um, uh, Gill's Weir down here. So quite a nice spot, quite pretty quiet. Too many campers coming and going. There's a boat ramp down here. Just had a couple of fishermen here and there and um, some people kayaking. There is another spot up further. It's like a bit of a wharf you can go out on. A few people been fishing here. But, um, Boat ramp here. So yeah, quite a nice peaceful spot. Plenty of birds as you can hear. I think there are some downsides out parking under trees, especially pines. The amount of rubbish on the car and uh, I don't know if you can see the sap on the windscreen. Sap dropped everywhere. I'm kind of hoping I'm, I'm not going to regret parking here and uh, having trouble getting all the sap off. We have got paint protection on this, so hopefully that will help. But yeah, she's pretty dirty. Where our next stop is Chinchilla. So if there's a car wash there, so I think I might be using it. How are you? We're here at Gill's Weir. And why are we here? Because it's my name. And this is the first time here. And as you can see behind me, there's lots of trees. There's the pines, which is the first time we've camped in a shady spot. And we've been here for three days and we've got down to below 30% battery. So it's not ideal for what solar um, but it's a nice quiet spot and plenty of birds as you can hear in the background um, but lots of rubbish falling on the car and the caravan and sap so hopefully the sap will come out okay the experience we've had here we were able to last three days on very little solar input at all so just being relatively careful not using the microwave hang on a positive. minute you had hot oh. chocolate last night. You used the <laughs> microwave. Okay. 
I use the microwave a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of minutes. But yeah, not going crazy with air fryers and microwaves and kettles and stuff. Yeah. We were over the last three we days used gas. and we're just below 30%. So, yeah. you know, I wouldn't go another day, but um, yeah, good to know we can last three days with uh, on, on solar. So it was pretty cloudy yesterday as well. So if you don't know already, we've got two 200 amp hour lithium batteries and three 210 watt panels on the roof. And we've also got a 200 watt uh, Brunetti solar blanket, which I did put out for a little while. But basically it's, yeah, an inner drive system from Crusader. So it does pretty well for us. Which would mean if, if we went down to 25%, 75% of 400 watts, 100 watts. Is 300 oh, yeah. amps we used in three days. So we average 100 amps a day yeah. without much coming in at all. Overnight, we drop about 10%. With uh, That's mostly with the compressor fridge running and not much else. So, yeah, we pretty much count on losing 10% a night. So this is the view from our van. Boat ramp over there. There we go. I had showers this morning because we're going to yeah. top up our tanks, did washing. Did the washing, clean yeah. the floors. Scrum, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. So, the usual. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you at Chinchilla. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Turn out around the world.